Today, we're going to look at how to set up, wire, and use an on-air tally from the AudioArts Air 3 console. We'll first look at setting the console's dip switches. Then we'll show you the wiring details. Let's get started. The control room mute and on-air tally programming is done with a set of dip switches located directly below the logic connector in the middle of the Air 3's rear panel. There's one switch for each channel on the console. When the switch for a channel is down, the function is activated. Let's assume we've connected our main studio microphone to fader 1. Let's activate the tally and mute for that channel. We'll flip the dip switch down with a pointed instrument, such as a ballpoint pen. Now, when that channel is turned on, the control room monitors will mute, the on-air light on the Air 3 meter bridge will turn on, and the on-air logic output relay will close. Now let's look at actually wiring the tally. This diagram, taken from page 2-8 of the Air 3 console manual, assumes you have a standard 120-volt AC on-air light. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a relay box to switch the actual light on and off. We need the relay box because we never want to wire 120-volt AC to the console itself. We'll also need a male D connector to mate with the console's logic connector. If you've already got a connector installed, we'll wire to its existing pins. We'll wire everything up as shown here. Pins 9 and 10 on the 25-pin D connector are the tally contacts, which will be closed when the microphone is on. We'll wire these to the relay box so that when the contacts close, the relay pulls in. All that remains now is to wire the AC power for the on-air light through the contacts of the new relay, and we have a working on-air tally. Do you have questions or comments, or perhaps an idea for a future video? Contact us at wehearyou at wheatstone.com, or visit our website at wheatstone.com.